Hey students, in the last session we have discussed about the preparation of alcohols. In this session we will be talking about what are the properties of alcohols. So in the properties, the first property is what are physical properties. So there are some common physical properties in that first one is what are physical state and how they appear. And the second one is their boiling points. And the third one is their solubility. So these are the main three common physical properties of any organic compounds. So the first one is the physical state, how they appear. So in physical state, the lower member of alcohols appears as liquids. Lower member of alcohols means what? The alcohols which are having less number of carbon atoms will be exist as about here, liquids. Again, higher member of alcohols, which means that alcohols with more number of carbon atoms appears or what exist as waxy solids. So this is the what here physical state of alcohols. Lower members exist as liquids. Higher members exist as what here waxy solids. So the second physical property is boiling point. So in boiling point we have to discuss a point was. So the first point is alcohols have or alcohols whose boiling point increases with increase in number of carbon atoms number of carbon atoms see here the boiling point of alcohols increases with increase in water number of carbon atoms so this increase in the number of carbon atoms increases Van der Waals force of attraction. Van der Waals force of attraction. So as the number of carbon atoms increases, the Van der Waals force of attraction increases, which makes increase in the water boiling point of alcohols. Right? So this one. So the second point is boiling point of alcohols boiling point of alcohols decreases with increase in branching increase in branching so as the branching in case of alcohols increases automatically what happens here the boiling point of alcohols decreases decrease in the boiling point of alcohols with increase in water branching so increase in the branching makes water decrease in the surface area. Decrease in the surface area due to branching, which makes water decrease in the water boiling point. Okay, so this is the water second point. The third point is alcohols have higher boiling point. Alcohols have higher boiling point than that of hydrocarbons. hydrocarbons and water, ethers, etc. Alcohols will be having water, higher boiling point when compared with water, hydrocarbons as well as water, ethers. So this is due to the water formation of intermolecular hydrogen bonding. So why alcohols have higher boiling point than hydrocarbons and ethers? It is just because of water, because of alcohols forms, alcohols form intermolecular hydrogen bonding intermolecular hydrogen bonding themselves if these alcohols are capable of forming intermolecular hydrogen bonding themselves automatically their molecular mass increases increase in the molecular mass due to the formation of hydrogen bonding and increase in the what their boiling point that is the general representation of alcohols is what is ROH it is a water general representation of alcohols and this oxygen makes a water hydrogen bonding with what another alcohol molecule. So this is the hydrogen atom of another molecule of alcohol. This is the oxygen atom of what another alcohol molecule which makes a water hydrogen bonding. So this hydrogen bonding is called as water intermolecular hydrogen bonding which is represented by the dotted lines. Similarly, this oxygen makes a water another hydrogen bonding with another alcoholic molecule right so this formation of intermolecular hydrogen bonding increases what molecular mass 
increase in the molecular mass automatically it will be having what higher boiling points compared with what hydrocarbons as well as ethers so this is what here the boiling point of alcohols so the first point is alcohols will be having higher boiling point which means that boiling point of alcohols increases with increase in the water number of carbon atoms if increase in the number of carbon atoms van der waals force of attraction increases increase in the van der waals force of attraction increase in the water boiling point secondly the boiling point of alcohols decreases with increase in the water branching if the alcohols which are having what branches automatically their boiling point decreases and the third point is we have to compare the boiling point of alcohols with other compounds such as hydrocarbons such as what is ethers etc and when you compare the boiling point of alcohols with hydrocarbons and ethers alcohols will be having what higher boiling points why the alcohols having higher boiling point when it is compared with other compounds it is just because the alcohols are capable of forming what type of bonding intermolecular hydrogen bonding due to the formation of intermolecular hydrogen bonding so the molecular mass of alcohols increases and which makes to have higher boiling points so this is what is second one and the third one is the third physical property is solubility as you know solubility means what we have to what here discuss about the solubility of alcohols so alcohols are soluble in water due to the formation of intermolecular hydrogen bonding with water molecules so here alcohols are soluble in water usually alcohols are water soluble in water so the solubility of alcohols in water is due to it is due to the formation of it is due to the what here formation of intermolecular hydrogen bonding intermolecular hydrogen bonding with water so here alcohols can form intermolecular hydrogen bonding with water if alcohols form intermolecular hydrogen bonding themselves their boiling point increases if alcohols form hydrogen bonding with water they are soluble in water that is so here r o h this is what here the corresponding general representation of alcohol which makes hydrogen bonding with what here water molecule right so this is what here hydrogen bonding which is formed with what water molecule so the formation of this hydrogen bonding makes their solubility right and so the solubility of alcohols decreases in water with increase in the number of carbon atoms in their structure right for example so if this r group increases say for example if it is ch3oh and it can form a hydrogen bonding with water very easily and we can say this alcohol is soluble in water if instead of ch3 if we take water more number of carbon atoms say for example hexanol hexane is having water six carbon atoms which means that increase in the number of carbon atoms so increase in the number of carbon atoms decreases the solubility of alcohols in water so it is just because of what increase in the number of carbon atoms increases the water the nature called as what hydrophobic nature hydrophobic nature increases when it increases as increase in the number of carbon atoms which increases the nature called as what here hydrophobic nature hydrophobic nature means what here water repelling nature water repelling nature so if hydrophobic nature of hydrocarbon part increases automatically the solubility of alcohols decreases okay so alcohols are soluble in water which means that lower member of alcohols are soluble in water because they are capable of forming intermolecular hydrogen bonding with water higher member of alcohols are least soluble in water it is just because of what increase in the number of carbon atoms increases the hydrophobic nature hydrophobic nature means what automatically water repelling nature so this is all about water some physical properties of alcohols right